In terms of accuracy, I would say I'm at least 30% more accurate than I was before. And speed is, I mean, I would say twice as fast. So when we first started bidding, we were using just a spreadsheet, really. It just was very slow, very clunky. We never really felt like, everything felt more like a guess. And I think that's why estimate appealed to us so much. It allows the estimator to bid more accurately, quicker, because um, the numbers are there. The item database and the resource database and having this historical information for pricing was just leagues beyond anything we had ever done before. With task population and item population and with DOT jobs being able to pull in the pre-made database, I mean, that's made, I mean, you've easily cut estimating time in half with those items. It's huge for us to have both estimate and track. The feature that's the biggest for me is the production history. It allows the guys in the office to see the production that we're doing out in the field, which only betters their estimate. If I'm estimating a job that's similar to what's going on in the field, I'll pull reports and start looking back at how they've been doing. They can see exactly how much we can do for pipe in a day, how much material we can move in a day. Over time, as it dials in, I can really determine what we can do in a certain amount of time, which just makes me more accurate and us more profitable. I'm probably putting out like 100 to 150 estimates a year. Sometimes we get large jobs that it might take me, you know, a week, not due to the estimating side more of the takeoff than anything, or you get days where I can put out 10 demolition jobs in a day. I found estimates very easy to learn. It's very user friendly. The interface itself just makes sense. And then what's nice is it can be as simple or as complex as you want. So we were able to start a little more simple, walk your way into it, and then as we progress, hey, I'm ready to do this. Okay, well, step it to the next level. Here's your next level of complexity. A project that we're on right now, the 21 West Auburn Street project in Manchester, New Hampshire, I think BTW was instrumental to winning it because of how complex the project was being able to break it out in, in a way that it made sense logistically on estimate of ex excavate it one time, then move it again, then move it again. That made me see the inefficiencies in the way that others were probably pricing it, and then I could tone my number back down to make it more competitive.